In this example, we want to find a power series for the function that's given here, centered at the origin. Okay, so in this box that you see over here to the right, this is the uh, this is the function. Okay, that we have. Okay, we have a over one minus x. So this function can be uh, represented by a what's called a geometric power series. Okay, and this series okay is based on the geometric series, and so therefore the radius of convergence is going to be for values of x between minus 1 and 1. Or in other words, the absolute value x strictly less than 1. Okay, So the way we can do this okay, is that we have to uh, look at the function we're given and try to uh, write it in terms of the function given in the box. Okay, So notice that we have a, we have a 1 okay, on the denom denominator here. We have 1 minus x. Okay, so what we can do is we can divide okay, everything by, uh, we can go ahead and divide everything by 2. So I'm going to rewrite the function like this first. So we're going to have 4 over 2 plus x. Okay, all right, so I'm going to divide everything by by two, and the reason is because we want to get a we want to get a one uh, in this. We want to make this one, okay? So then we're going to get four over two, two over two plus x over two, okay? So this is going to give us two over one plus x over two, okay? So now notice that we have a minus and the in the denominator here, we have 1 minus x. So that means I can rewrite this as 2 over 1 minus negative x over 2. Okay, And this is the same thing as 2 over 1 minus negative 1 half x. Okay. So now we have everything we need to, to, uh, uh, to write our series. Okay. So we have that a is 2, okay, all right, and then this, this part here, that is acting as r, okay. So our series, okay, so, all right, so the function that we have can be represented as an infinite series. Okay, with a equals to 2, and then we have minus 1 half x raised to the n power. Okay. Okay. So the interval convergence for this series, okay, remember that it has to coincide with the with the geometric power series. Okay, so this this must be right in order for uh, for this series to converge, okay. This has to be true, okay. All right, so we want to find the values of x that make this series converge, okay. All right, so this is going to be okay. This is the same as negative one less than minus one half x less than one, and then we can go ahead and. Uh, multiply everything by negative 2 so that's going to give us uh, positive 2 and then you have to change the sign and change this sign and that's going to be negative 2 okay okay so our interval convergence is going to be all x between minus 2 and 2 and we don't need to check the endpoints here because this is based on our geometric power series okay so in this box here you see the geometric power series and and it's and the interval convergence is going between negative one and one so so it's not converging at the endpoints okay so it's consistent here as well with this uh, with this series okay all right so this is our so basically this is our solution here okay so we have a series Okay, this is going to be 2 
times negative one half x to the n. Okay. Uh, we can also write this as two times. We can put, we can take out a negative one to the n. And I have two times one half x to the n. So that's another, that's, that's okay to write this way. Okay. And our radius of convergence, right, is going to be two. Okay. Right. And this is our interval of convergence here. Our interval of convergence is here and radius of convergence is two. Okay.